Back on, back on, Gertie Rude. Back again, that Wednesday mood. Well, here we are. We're all here today. And it's Wednesday. Tomorrow's Thursday. And that's one day nearer the weekend, which we can all congratulate and slap ourselves jovially and heartily on our backs. Or each other's backs. Do you get me, Capiche? Anyway, so we're here. And apparently, don't quote me on it. Obviously, it's not me saying it. But they do say they make my skin crawl. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. I'm not having that. Are you having that? I mean, you know, that a bit is the moist things that do crawl, like creepy crawlies. Yes. I mean, up against them too, they're quite nice, aren't they? At least they're part of the eco bleeding system. Not a pair of old grifters. Anyway, don't know what I'm on about. Don't know what's going on. But should we jump in and have a look? Because I think it's going to be yet another bloody moan fest about the marklets. Let's go, darlings. Let's jump right in. Hello. What's she done? About Prince Harry. It's been a while, oh, and uh, there's news that he's working on a new documentary, oh, a new project save for us. Netflix. They call it. A How many times has this happened? Really? I mean, you know, <laughs> oh dear. I mean, when I was young, you just wouldn't have behaved like that. You just, do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, when at first you don't succeed, just carry on being a bloody nuisance till you bore everyone wretched. Right, go on. Let's go on, come on. Hacky series, but really, Darren, it's a uh, hacky show, like the, the last one. Yeah, it's a load of shit. Was just mind-numbing. It's a come on, baby, light my fire, isn't it? It's one of them shows. Look at me, aren't I marvellous? <laughs> oh, somebody just put an end to my wretched existence. I can't live anymore. It's too much. It's not living, it's existing. In a bleed, no, I don't know what it is. A, a drama drone or something of them two. Every bloody minute of every bleak day, there's some new outrage. Yes, there is. Oh, it's jam will be damned today, isn't it, with that one? Right, let's go. Boring. Jamming. This one, though, is on the Jamming topic that fake of is actually knowledgeable about. Well, say that, Jam. It seems very much like... Sorry to butt in, darling. I love you, Skype. No, let's not do that, because that's oh, quite rude. Let's not do that. Let's do that. That's nicer. Sorry, sweetheart. I love you as well. You're gorgeous. Um, Seems like that, Jam... Was it organically or <laughs> something or other sustained? No. <laughs> no. I've been listening to, I've been working, as I've been working away, beavering away, as you do. I've been listening to it in my ear. And it does appear, now don't quote me on it, that uh, the only sustainably sourced bullshit is that she got somebody that makes jam to make her some jam. <laughs> now. I don't know about you, Voo Two First, but I ain't having that said of the mark. <laughs> She's in that kitchen, beavering away, <laughs> making bleak <bleeding> jam. <laughs> Christ Almighty, will somebody just save me from this absolute load of old hooey? <laughs> oh, dearie me. Anyway, let's go. But is there a massive market for documentaries on, on polar? No, Darren? literally none. None, none at all. None. Well, absolutely. There, there clearly isn't a market for that. You know, Polo, it, it, it's quite... That's neat. Darren Grimes, you know. Do you know, sorry to butt in, Darren, darling. Darren, sweetheart, I don't want to sell you too, but looking at your eyes, I'm wondering, you know, hello. Oh, dearie me, Darren. <laughs> I like Darren Grimes, but he seems to have, like, changed or so. Oh, that's what's happened, Gert. He's grown up, and he? Because he's been around since he was really young. And he just looks totally bleeding different. To be fair, yes, I'm not going to say any more than that because, <laughs> yeah, I like him. But uh, yeah, get a few early nights, darling, Darren. That's what you should do. That's what you need to do. Yeah, listen to Gertie's advice. Get your head down early. And I mean, when I say get your head down, I mean on a pillow. Yes. <laughs> Never mind. Right, let's go. Shh, sports. It's tired, isn't he? Really popular anywhere in the world. I love Darren. It's Basically, what I would describe as a sort of a, a penchant for posh people, but look, no. I, I well, it's like I said bleeding. before, it's the sport of bleeding kings, isn't it? Right? Do you see how they can turn on a hair, those poor horses? Uh, so maybe, do you know what I mean? If you ever see any of the animal programs where it's like, let's save the animals, let's be sustainable and naturally sourced with animals and let's not be cruel to them. Don't you think that Barry, uh, Barry's documentary is going to be the opposite? Let's just be a bunch of bleeding arseholes to horses. Yes. Here, yeah, watch me while I do it. Show you how. <laughs> it's going to be one of them, isn't it? To be fair, it is. Yes, let's go, darlings. Attempt to create reality television 
by mm. masquerading yeah. as a documentary right. on, on Polo, yeah. when actually it's a Did documentary they get that when we were in India? East. When we were in the Raj? Sorry, sweetheart, Darren. Uh, when we were in the Raj? Because they, haven't they got a similar one where they fill a... Is it like a goat's bladder or sheep's summit of stomach? Uh, they used to run around on horses beating that up, didn't they? And then when we went over there, we learned how to play polo. And we taught them how to do it a bit more, um, well, uh, what one might call, uh, yeah, yeah, less decorously, if you get me. <laughs> yes, let's use a ball rather than a sheep's bladder or stomach, hashtag forward slash, whatever it was. Yes, but it does seem to be because even the Mongol, if you look at the Mongol people in Mongolia uh, that live in yurts and that, they've got a similar thing that they do. And is it on horses? We think if it is on horses, you know. Yes! And I think there's another one. They do it on camels, which could be somewhere else, but I don't know where it is. I don't know. I'm going with this bullshit. Anyway, yes, polo uh, literally don't mean shit to anyone uh, apart from rich people. Because obviously, when we went over there to India, wherever it was, they played their version of polo. And Stolte did it. And we brought it back, you see. And it was... People in the elite or the echelons that play polo. But basically, if you're in any of these countries, you can be a road sweeper and play it. Yeah, do you get me? As long as you've got an horse or a camel or whatever it is. Yes, depends where you go, but they do seem to have varying deriv derivation. Deriv de de yeah, various. <laughs> uh, yeah, things of this, what is actually would about to polo. But we call it polo, but I don't think they call it that. I think it's Turkmenistan, places like that. And I only know, because I've been there, you know, my darlings. I was once, yes, a pig's bladder. I think I was anyway. Let's go. Two ...and uh, their penchant for being in the press. Oh, yeah, I, exactly. I just, you know, in this country now, uh, Rita, we, we're hearing because, as you well know, yeah. the royal family are going through their own problems yeah. at the moment. With I still think she's put up job. Oh, I'm going to come on here every day if I have to and say I think she's put up job. I think she's an asset of somebody or other, and I think she's there, and they're, they're both there to distract. I don't think they're real. I don't... No, but yeah, do you know what I mean? Really? Or is she just nuts, really? <laughs> and needs to be put in a padded cell somewhere, darlings? Because she's selling these bleeding jams, and apparently it turns out she's just ordered a load off a jam-making factory, because that's how they work. Right, little insider, little tip inside the food industry, darlings. You know when you buy baked beans... And you might buy like Tesco's or Sainsbury's or down at Hill Asda or even Littles, you know. Uh, and then you might buy Heinz baked beans or Cross and Blackwell baked beans. And then you pay Double Bubble because they're name brands, yeah. They're actually all made in a baked bean factory, darlings. Yes. And they just run different, uh, different labels. So with that in mind, her jam's been made in a jam making factory. <laughs> and she's had 50. Because uh, she's like classy, super classy. She's uh, numbered them. So, you know, if you've got number one or probably like in her case, she's full of number two, isn't she, that one? So, yeah, oh, look at me. I've got number two jam. <laughs> uh, it seems like hooky because it doesn't pass the sniff test in California, which is really weird because they're so uh, poncy about, oh, you got to do this and you got to do that. you got to say where your strawberries come from. Are they sustainably sourced? Did you use this product or did you use that product? Have they got any numbers? How much is the weight? you got to put it all on the label. And then you walk down the road in California. And you've got people shitting in bleeding carrier bags or shitting in the, yeah, whatever. Do you get me, Capiche? Talk about double standards. It's not even double with them, lot, are they? Anyway, yes, yeah, so apparently the jam is just a load of old hooey. Who'd have thought of that? Do you know what? I'm going to have to go boil me head because I think I've been somewhat what one might call... Bloody rude. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's why I'm dirty rude, uh, aren't I? Yeah, His Majesty King Charles. Hello, His Majesty the King Charles. Princess of Wales out of action yeah. after cancer diagnosis. Right. And some people are suggesting uh -huh. that we bring back Prince Harry no. to the United States. No, nobody's suggesting that apart from them, them, their minions. You know, <laughs> we've got enough nutty bleed new news in this country without adding to them. And this lot, they want, oh, what security? <laughs> oh, dearie me. I think if they do come back, we should give them security in somewhere like Rampton or Broadmoor. Do you get me, Capiche? Because that is nice and secure, isn't it? And that would keep them pretty much secure from us. And speaking solely for myself, I'm in with that. I really am. Because if they would just put somewhere, we'd never have to listen to their bleeding hooey 
and mithering on about this and moaning on about that. There's people dying in the bleeding world. Everybody's bombing everybody. We're on the brink of, well, absolute destruction, aren't we? Mutually assured or whatever, aren't we? But no, 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 everybody, listen to the Mark clip. She's in a jam. She wants us to buy her bleeding old hooky jam. And then the other one, he wants us to watch him play polo and just sort of spur a pony until it drops down dead. Yes, yeah, so basically, do you know what I mean? It's all good in the hood. Uh, with that, I think I'm going to move on. Love Dar Darren Grimes, but uh, I don't think he's going to add much more. Your face a bit different, darling. Daniel. That's better. He's good looking, lad. Like that, lad. Anyway, bye bye now. Uh, wherever you are in the world, have a happy morning, afternoon, evening, or good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Don't let the buggers get you down. And still haven't had time to do my um, parody. <laughs> I will, I'll get round to it. Got my grandson off school. He only went back for a day and he's off with a bleeding. I don't know what it is going around. There's something in the air in there. Sickness. Oh, I mean, elbow deep in bleeding vomit through two. I mean, who would have functioned it of your poor old girl? Just as well I'm a scrubber, isn't it, really? Hey, do you get me capiche? Anyway, bye-bye now. Love you and leave you.